While we've seen some groundbreaking galactic milestones in the past, many of the more recent astronomical discoveries prove with certain regularity that there are still many mysteries in the vast expanse of space waiting to be unraveled by mankind. In today's video, we would like to take a closer look at some of these fascinating discoveries and observations together with you. Get ready for extraordinary constellations, exciting signals from distant star systems, and mysterious formations from the heart of the Milky Way. We wish you a lot of fun with this exciting topic. Would you like to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. One Planet, Three Stars The astronomical discoveries of the past decades have made one thing clear to us above all. The universe seems in truth to harbor many more planets than experts had previously assumed. By August 2021, researchers had succeeded in locating more than 4,800 exoplanets in more than 3,500 different systems. While the search for Earth-like celestial bodies is still one of the central points of scientific investigations, those distant galactic neighbors that differ in their structure and natural composition from our blue home planet are no less fascinating. Basically, a fundamental pattern emerges in the areas far away from our solar system. Most of the exoplanets are gravitationally bound to a central host star. In other cases, the galactic constellation has exoplanets orbiting around two stars. A sensational observation in the ranks of astronomers could now in turn lead to the fact that we may add a new constellation between exoplanets and host stars to the star maps. According to the realizations of experts, some hundred light years far away from us, there exists a celestial body that orbits not merely one or two, but three stars at the same time. These groundbreaking observations were recorded in the star system GW Orionis, in the constellation Orion. Within this region, which is located about 1300 light years from Earth, the experts had already discovered two stars orbiting each other at a time interval of 241 days. This gravitational spectacle is augmented again by a third star, which orbits the other two every 11.5 years. But the three so-called protoplanetary disks in GW Orionis repeatedly enter the center of scientific interest. The special thing here is, unlike their counterparts in our our home solar system. The two outer annular disks of gas and dust are inclined by 38 degrees with respect to the inner one. A detailed evaluation of the astronomical investigation drew, however, a still more amazing picture. The dust disk of GW Orionis presents itself almost completely deformed and torn and shows a conspicuously large gap. Therefore, terrestrial scientists quickly ask themselves an essential question. What galactic processes could be responsible for such a tear? At first, researchers suspected that it was the three aforementioned stars that create the unusual face of the dust disk. However, a team of scientists from the University of Nevada in Las Vegas came to a completely different conclusion. Researchers there introduced the thesis that the observed peculiarities could represent the traces of an exoplanet. It could be a large gas planet, which took up the surrounding material in order to create its form and to increase in size. If this explanation for the gaps in the dust disk should prove to be true, it would be equal to an astronomical milestone. Then, it would actually be the first known planet in the history of research that orbits around three stars. However, scientists have not yet been able to observe the extraordinary planet itself. So far, we have only been able to detect its possible signatures in the protoplanetary disk, which leaves some room for doubt. For example, some experts believe that the anomaly in the dust disk could be due to gravitational shear forces. In order to finally get to the bottom of this galactic mystery, experts want to intensify their observations in GW Orionis in the coming months. Observations with the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the ALMA Telescope should help to answer this exciting question in more depth. Radio Waves from Another Star System 
A look at our immediate galactic neighbors shows that planets in the solar system typically emit radio waves, while terrestrial researchers have already succeeded in locating these cosmic signals on Earth. For example, from the gigantic Jupiter with its strong magnetic fields, scientists have waited in vain for a long time for a comparable signal originating in another star system. Last year, with the help of LOFAR, a large European network of radio telescopes, a team of experts made an astonishing discovery. The experts focused their astronomical attention on three different star systems known to host exoplanets. The scientists then compared the data they had collected with the information they had gathered during their observations of Jupiter. Ultimately, it was the double star system Tau Botis, 50 light years from Earth, that quickly became the focus of scientific attention. This system also serves as the cosmic home of the gas giant Tau Botis B. And indeed it seems to be. It appears that the radio waves detected during the observations may originate in the magnetic field of the gas planet in question. In fact, experts put the probability of this at 98%. Nevertheless, there is also the possibility that the signal does not originate from the exoplanet, but from its ancestral binary star system. In principle, radio waves are very difficult to detect in remote areas of the cosmos. This is because the corresponding magnetic fields of the planets normally appear comparatively weakly. If the theory described by experts is confirmed, this would significantly help them better understand the characteristics of exoplanets in the future. Fermi Bubbles Many millions of years ago, the center of our home galaxy was rocked by a powerful explosion. As a result of this process, in the heart of the Milky Way, gigantic shock waves were ejected into the surrounding areas of space, where they heated all the gas and dust that crossed their path. Although this event took place many millennia ago, we can still follow the traces that this process left in our home galaxy to this day. These patches of hot, high-energy gamma rays are known among experts as Fermi bubbles and extend over half the total width of the Milky Way. After the corresponding formations were discovered for the first time in 2010, they initially caused big questions for experts. Particularly puzzling is the fact that the corresponding bubbles seem to regularly form new structures. Researchers have already identified so-called chimneys of plasma and slowly expanding balloons of radio energy in the two gigantic structures. The largest of these Fermi structures known so far are the so-called erosita bubbles. These are mysterious formations visible only in X-ray light. Although these newly discovered bubbles are much less energetic than the actual Fermi bubbles, they have practically the same dimensions with an extension of 45,000 light years. Visually, we can imagine these structures as hourglass-shaped formations, practically fixed to the galactic center at the point where the two bubbles converge. Since the Fermi and E. Rosita bubbles are strikingly similar in terms of their shapes and their common center, it is reasonable to conclude that there is a physical connection between these structures. This train of thought leads to the assumption that the two object forms have their origin in that galactic explosion which took place millions of years ago in the center of the Milky Way. Until today, however, scientists don't know why the bubbles were formed in the first place. One theory is that the cosmic detonation was based on an explosive burst of energy from the black hole Sagittarius A star, which graces the center of our home galaxy. The detailed investigation of experts showed that an energy release of 100,000 supernovae was required to form the corresponding X-ray bubbles. This number, in turn, coincides with those values that astronomers have already been able to locate in X-ray energy emissions from active black holes in other galaxies. Another Earth Moon? As is known, our blue home planet is accompanied by exactly one natural satellite, Earth's moon. Scientists were therefore all the more astonished when they discovered a mysterious object some time ago, which approached our Earth in a striking manner, and then even seemed to orbit it. Quickly the theory arose that it could be a so-called mini-moon, or in other words, a small natural satellite that orbits the Earth only for a short time. A more exact observation led in the end, however, to the realization that the mysterious structure is not a body from space rock, but actually an object made by human hands. The alleged mini-moon is none other than a rocket turbine built in the 1960s. More precisely, it was a component of the Surveyor 2, a NASA 
NASA spacecraft that was supposed to perform a soft, or in other words, unmanned, lunar landing in the mid-1960s. However, after the probe separated from its rocket, it crashed on the lunar surface. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the breathtaking discoveries in the universe described today? Just leave your thoughts, your suggestions, and feedback in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits now. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.